All week long, we'll be going on the campaign trail with candidates running for mayor in Little Rock as part of our Meet Your Mayor campaign. So far, we have talked to Vincent Tolliver and Frank Scott Jr. We were unable to catch up with Glenn Schwartz. He's also running. Today, though, Ashley Ketz tagged along with Warwick Sabin. She's live from his headquarters in downtown. A very busy day, Ashley. That's right, Bob. We are back inside campaign headquarters. We've been out knocking on doors. We've been all over this city talking with voters today. For someone who's been heavily involved in politics, he's running as an outsider in this race. I want to give you an idea of the range of support that we're seeing in this campaign here. Take a look behind me. We've got some high school students from Central High School who are making phone calls tonight. We've also got retirees. They're all trying to rally support to let people know why Saban is the candidate to lead this city into the future. And what is your name? It's Warwick Sabin, S-A-B-I-N. For Warwick Sabin, his campaign for mayor of Little Rock mirrors how he envisions holding the job. You know, one of the things I think the city needs is a leader who's going to wake up every day with an agenda of things that you want to check off and accomplish. Helping him wake up on this day, a quad cappuccino. Surrounding Saban, a group of UA Little Rock students sharing their concerns about the city they now call home. The one thing that I think is important is... Solani Namara has been volunteering for Saban's campaign. She supports his new ideas that she believes will boost a city that's gone stagnant. He knows how the system works, um, but at the same time, he's not stuck in that old system. Saban's three terms in the state legislature have familiarized him with that system, but it's outside the Capitol where he says he's learned the most about about his adopted hometown. I go to all the neighborhood association meetings in my district, and ever since I've been running for mayor, I go to all the ones in the city. His dedication to that shows in the eyes of voters like Jack Sundell, owner of the Root Cafe in Soma. I think again and again, he's proven that he is someone who can walk into a situation, get organized, figure out what needs to happen, and then actually affect positive change. I think that he's had to make a lot of tough decisions and work on both sides of the aisle. Former school principal Donald Booth joins the campaign and its young supporters for lunch at Sims Barbecue, a favorite hangout of Saban's. With a wide range of voices behind him, Saban says the challenges Little Rock faces aren't as daunting as some believe. I really do hear the same things everywhere I go. We're not as divided a city as I think people think we are. And with a platform of new ideas and new energy, he says he's uniquely qualified to bring about the change that voters want. Well, I've identified the same challenges, and most of the time they identify the same solution. And Saban is already encouraging people to take action. I want to show you this banner. A group of women actually made this. It highlights some of his policies like education, jobs, public safety. It also shows some of the key moments in his background that made him who he is today. The University of Arkansas where he went to college. You see Old Main. You see the Capitol. Also, you see the Two Rivers Bridge Park right there. That's where he likes to take walks with his wife, Jessica. And also a quote from him at the bottom. If you want to see more of our coverage, we kind of given you a behind the scenes look at these campaigns this week. You can always go to our website, kark.com. Bob, back to you. All right, Ashley, thanks very much. And tomorrow is the last day of our Beat Your Mayor series. Baker Curry's campaign will be in the spotlight tomorrow as we wrap things up. Tune in tomorrow for more on why he says he should be your next mayor. But if you missed any of our coverage this week, we've got you covered. Just go to our website, krk.com. Click on the political news tab.